Welcome to the homestead. Glad you're with me this morning. Well, my project right now is that since this is all shady, I need to take this, this pipe and dig a trench over to the fence. You see, when the water company put the pipe in, they put it in about 10 feet off that fence line, which the fence line's about five feet off our property line. And as we re-fence, we're gonna put the fence actually on the property line, which puts that pipe, that pipe, about 15 feet from the property line, which is in the right line of where we want to park the car, you know, our driveway. Over here was gonna be the garage and for, the cars instead of just parking them out. We kind of decided that maybe that may or may not work. So maybe over more this way because these trees uh, keep breaking branches. But nevertheless, that pipe, I mean this pipe right here has got to move. So I'm gonna dig a trench and hopefully I'll be able to do it. Hopefully the ground's not too hard. If the ground's too hard, the faucet is right there and I can easily just turn on the faucet and flood this flood this area right here so that um, it might be easier to dig. And that's a hope anyway. And it sure doesn't hurt to try because I want that, that box over there. Okay, there's the trench so far. So it looks like I've gotten two, two and a half feet long by about one foot deep. And I've got another seven and a half feet to go that way, maybe. Maybe eight feet, <laughs> maybe longer, I don't know. And I think the plumbing is like two feet down. So I need to keep going. But a good start. The ground is super hard the first four inches at least. Once you break through that, boom, it's, it's a little gummy, but it is smooth. It's, it's much softer and the shovel sinks down pretty good. So now since I got a good start, I can go at it from the soft part, the underneath part, instead of trying to go from the top part and break through the hard, hard stuff. So that's my plan. But first I'm gonna go get a drink of water and uh, then we'll come back and we'll finish digging a trench. Hi, welcome back to the homestead. Well, if you remember, the last thing I did was finish the framework on the, uh, the, for the floor joists. Before I did that though, I did the leveling on the bricks, the piers, put the four by fours down, reassured it was level, built the floor joists, put them on top of the four by fours, nailed them together, ratcheted them so that they were square and secured them to the four by fours. Today though, we need to uh, put the sheeting, the floor sheeting on. All right, it's time to start laying that sheeting down. I got the uh, correct nails in the air gun. Got to get the sheeting out of the trailer and just flop it on there. First thing you do though is uh, on the outside edge you flush up the bottom so that it's flush on the corner and flush across the bottom. You sink two nails in and then you go to the top and you move it until it's nice and flush along the side. Um, that'll help square up anything that's not quite square.
further down the line I get, the drier the ground gets. I need like a pickaxe, man. It's getting hard. So I think I can go find something, a hammer and maybe something to break it up at the surface. It's still dry quite a ways down. So I'll be right back. Well, normally you don't have to cut these pieces. But because ours got rotted out in the pile and we had to replace all of the flooring, um, I'm going to have to cut the smaller pieces that go in there. So I'm going to just use the, the uh, floor as my sawhorses and then mark it off at 23 and 7 eighths heavy, which is actually 23 and uh, 15 sixteenths. When somebody carpenters a lot, or we used to anyway on the job, we'd say 23 and 7 eighths heavy. That means it's a 16th over. So I'm going to get that wood, I'm going to put it down there, measure it up, draw my line, and cut it and hope it fits. I got this big, tall, heavy rod. I'm gonna see if I can break it up with it. Okay, can you see this blue box? It stands about yay much uh, above the ground. I wanna lower that box. Now there's no reason for me to keep going with that trench into the hard, hard dirt that's, that's that way because that blue box is right there. So at least if it's lined up with the blue box, uh, that's one thing. So I do wanna lower that box. I don't know if I can, but um, the box is too high. So let's see if we can lower it. Okay, I know I said I was gonna try to dig up around the box that the water company put in. But then I saw all that grass that was in the way. So then I decided I would rake. Then I decided that that'd be a good grass to put over in our new mulch pile to kind of get it going. And then I saw all this other grass and got a little bit carried away, but I didn't do everything. I just did this little section right here. But all that has really tall grass from when I weeded it the other day. And I could rake that up and that would look a whole lot better if I did rake it up and then we could put it over in that mulch pile. Anyway, now back to this box. Um, let's see if I can dig, dig around it to lower that box down.
All right, you just saw me laying out a bunch of lines on the uh, the deck there, or on the floor there. Um, I did that so that when I nail, I know I hit the studs underneath and I won't miss them. It's just easier to take the time now to, to just draw them out. That way all I have to do is just nail. Speaking of nail, let's get to nailing. It's got to go down a lot farther than that. I barely got it down further than it was. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get something to drink and rest my back a little bit, and then we'll come and we'll try to even it out. I can see which direction the pipe goes. Um, I have quite a bit more. Uh, the pipe goes below. Um, I'm not at the pipe level, I should say, which means I shouldn't puncture a pipe trying to dig this up. I'm gonna call that good. 
I'm gonna put away all the tools and go eat some dinner. Thanks for watching. You be sure to like, share, press the notification bell, and subscribe. And join us next time on The Homestead. God bless y'all. Bye-bye now.